What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and out of nowhere, today Apple did release iOS 8.1.2. So we weren't expecting this at all. I mean, 8.2 was a given, but 8.1.2, however, was not. Now in this video, I just wanna cover what's changed. I mean, what did Apple include in this latest firmware? What does it mean for the jailbreak and for the future of iOS? So one of the main reasons that the Taiji jailbreak was released for 8.1.1 was because that they believed that Apple wouldn't release a firmware for a while until iOS 8.2 in early 2015. So basically they dropped Taiji because they believed that 8.1.1 would exist for a while. Now Apple, you know, they decided to patch one little thing in iOS 8.1.2. The entire release is just for a ringtone bug. So if you purchase a ringtone from iTunes and it disappears from your device, this update will fix that. I mean, that's kind of funny. However, of course, they did manage to sneak in the Taiji jailbreak patch inside of 8.1.2. So Taiji at the moment will no longer work on iOS 8.1.2. However, there is good news. So a developer actually did tweet this and I quote, well, it seems that the kernel exploit used in Taiji for iOS 8.1.1 is not patched as the kernel version is the same on 8.1.2 as 8.1.1. So what does this mean? Basically, we're going to see an updated version of Taiji on iOS 8.1.2 very soon. Now I have updated on my iPhone 6 Plus and there is no difference. I mean, magically my iTunes ringtones have not disappeared. <laughs> I mean, guys, this is such a small update. There's literally no reason to update right now. If you guys are on 8.1 or 8.1.1, do not update. Stay where you're at until 8.1.2 is proven to be safe. I mean, with this tweet, it gives me promise that the jailbreak will be available on 8.1.2. However, you know, stay put. Don't update yet until Muscle Nerd, one of the more well-known developers, actually goes out and says, hey, it's okay to update. And of course, the jailbreak, I will be covering all of that. But in this video, I did just want to mention what's changed with 8.1.2. And as you guys can tell, there's literally almost no difference. As for performance, there is no difference. I mean, battery life, it's too early to tell, but guys, 8.1.2 is such a small update. Again, there's no reason to update, so make sure not to do so. And when Taiji is updated for 8.1.2, I'll be sure to post a video then. And if you guys have updated 8.1.2 or just wanna try it out and then wanna go back, it's still possible to downgrade. So if you guys wanna do that, click on that video right there and it'll take you to my 8.1.2 downgrade video. Or if you guys wanna see if 8.1.2 is faster than 8.1.1, I'm gonna do a test on the left there. So guys, just a little update for you. iOS 8.1.2 has been dropped. It contains almost no fixes, no changes. I mean, we still have Wi-Fi issues. We still have Safari issues, Messenger. iOS 8 has been better since 8.1 was released. However, it's still a buggy mess. Uh, in messages especially. I still have Wi-Fi issues, random dropped connections, slow speeds. So there's definitely a lot to fix and Apple's been focusing on the wrong things, but a fix is a fix, so I can't complain there. So guys, just a little update video for you. 8.1.2 is out. Make sure not to upgrade yet. When it's safe to do so, you'll know. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you updated. And there's more info on it down below in the description on my website, you know, the entire change log and all that. So, you know, make sure not to update. And if you're jailbroken, you're not going to be able to update from your device anyways, only through iTunes. So be really careful with that, guys. So anyways, have a great day and I'll keep you guys updated. Peace.